How you doing guys? Matt Walden here with Mishimoto and today I'm going to be showing you the Evo 10 Dual 19 row Mishimoto direct fit oil cooler kit. That is a mouthful folks. This thing is so sick. Somehow Mishimoto has decided that they are going to stuff two 19 row oil coolers up in the front end of this Evo. All the bracketry to make this sweet diversion plate and to split the airflow between the two coolers as well as all the lines and hardware you're going to need to connect this directly to your engine. For installation of the Mishimoto dual oil cooler for the Evo 10, you will need 27 millimeter socket, 24 millimeter wrench, panel tool, ratchet, extension, 10 millimeter socket, 12 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter wrench, and Phillips head screwdriver. Installation time is about an hour and a half. Difficulty rating is a five out of five on this and should be attempted only by professionals or individuals that know specifically what they're doing with this. Now listen up guys, you can do serious damage to your engine. If you're at home installing this, make sure you absolutely know what you're doing. If you have questions, please consult a professional and they'll be glad to help you install this kit. So we're gonna start with figure one, which is the piece without the Mishimoto stamping on it, as well as a 90 degree tab on it. The 90 degree tab should be facing up and we can place both oil coolers with the M logo on the inside in place here. After those are in place, we want to assemble the diversion plate. Now, here's where it gets a little tricky and stick with me guys. Four pegs goes in the lower piece here. And now the piece with five pegs with the Mishimoto logo is going to go on upside down for the time being. Don't worry folks, it won't be upside down when it's in the car. At this point, we're ready to install the hardware. All right, next you want to bust out the Mishimoto supplied hardware, including lock nuts and the bolt and washer. The bolt and washer are going to go on the plate sides. The nuts always go towards the oil coolers. Use the two black bolts that are supplied with the kit to bolt on this handy little bracket, which we'll show you where this goes later on. Again, with the Mishimoto logo upside down, if you have a hamster or gerbil, you can put them in here and they play around and be cooled off and instantaneously. But anyway, this goes right through here like so. And the nuts are gonna go on the outside. All right, last step to assembly is take the double female and the 90 degree bends and put them on the back of the cores. What this is going to do is connect these cores together and snug them up. Now we have one monster core. A note on these AN fittings. After they're snug, you want to turn them a quarter turn past the snug. Make sure these guys are nice and tight, otherwise you'll have leaks when you go to start up your car. First step, make sure it's in park and or the parking brake is set and jack up the front end. Next up is to detach the negative terminal of the battery, which if you didn't notice, we're in the trunk right now. 
All right, first thing is to remove the lower panel from the car, and there is a lot of fasteners that hold this together. A lot of these are pop clips, some are 10 millimeter head screws. Let's go ahead and get all of these undone, get the uh, lower panel off the car. After you take the two screws out, the one 10 millimeter over here, unstrap the air box and lift the whole assembly out of the way. Next step is to remove the rest of the air box. Next, use your panel tool and remove the three clips from the factory air diversion plate. Next, remove the four 10 millimeter head screws from the front bumper. And there's a sneaky one down in here too. Make that five. Remove the three screws from the inner splash panel to the front bumper. We're removing the two 10 millimeter head bolts that hold the front bumper to the fender. After the bumper is removed, go ahead and remove the OE oil cooler. 12 millimeter bolt head here, here, one down here, and one in the back. Follow along, I'll show you how to do it. Pop the clips off of the stock air duct. After you get the last bolt out, swing this guy down and out. Next, go ahead and remove the bracket for the oil cooler lines, which will not be reused. All right, bracket's off. Next step, remove the lines from the top of the oil filter block. Take a 24 millimeter wrench out and stick that sucker right on there. You're not going to get a whole lot of turns out of this, so. But once it leaves, it should come off. And now be prepared for a bath of oil, which is surely coming as soon as you remove these banjos. And we're gonna sneak these guys out here. And there we go, there's a factory oil cooler from the Mitsubishi Evo 10. All right, before we go ahead and assemble the entire Mishimoto oil cooler unit, we need to attach the lines to it. With the logo facing like this, the 90 degree line will go on the top. The whole boxed unit will fit in here exactly like shown. And the straight fitting on the other line, again, this line has two straight fittings on it, will go to the bottom one. The unit is almost ready to get installed in the corner of the car. We're going to need to remove a bolt from the front bumper beam in order to support the new dual oil cooler setup. Remove the foam block and we're going to remove this bolt right here on the corner of the bumper. Here's where this guy comes into play. You left this loose earlier because this bolt's inside of here and it's going to be a little bit tricky to get it in there. The other mount for the oil cooler box 
will be on the back side of it. And we're gonna reuse all of the factory hardware that was holding the original oil cooler in place. It's easiest if you start here and then work towards the front one. Make sure you use the bolt hole towards the outside of the vehicle and not the inner one. All right, oil coolers are installed, lines are in place, and now we're ready to connect it to the oil filter block. This here is the Mishimoto supplied banjo fitting, and it's very important that you put this together properly. This here is the bolt, signified by the hole, this hollow center, and the holes in the sides. So what we're gonna do is attach one seal on top, slide the bolt through the banjo, like so, and put one seal on the bottom. And this part is the part that will thread right into the oil filter housing. So what we're going to do is attach these to the oil filter block and then install the lines. After all the connections are on, everything can be tightened down. All right, before we put the bumper back on, you definitely want to start up the car, make sure there's no leaks, double check all your connections, and then we can go ahead and put this back on. Now it's time to reattach the front bumper and the lower panels. Install the 10 millimeter head bolts that fasten the bumper to the upper rad support should be five total. If your car is equipped with fog lights, make sure you reattach the fog light harness, which is directly beneath the hood latch. Reinstall the OE air diversion plate. These clips utilize the Phillips head screws. Reinstall the screws in the corner of the bumper on both sides of the car. These screws have a 10 millimeter head and are also pointed at the end. After those are installed, reinstall the pop clips that have the Phillips heads on them. And do the same thing on the other side. Here we go, put the intake back together. Reinstall the negative terminal of the battery. Before you take the car on the first road test, be sure that you check the oil and make sure that it's topped off. Adding twin oil coolers will definitely add extra capacity to this whole system. That concludes the Mishimoto Direct Fit Oil Cooler install. Enjoy your Mishimoto products.